Garcelle Beauvais has played a lot of very different roles in her acting career, but the one she may be most passionate about is her latest, a star and executive producer of the new film Black Girl Missing, where she hopes to bring attention to a topic she says is often ignored. I spoke with her earlier. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so happy to be here with you, Juju. I can't believe it's been a year since I went to your beautiful home, oh. and we talked about your memoir. Yes. And even back then, we were talking about the importance of African-American storytelling. For sure. I mean, and that's important to me. Absolutely. And here you are now, starring in and EPing this great film. Why is it so important for us to talk about black missing girls? Well, because it's there's an epidemic, if you will, of black and brown women going missing and young men that no one's talking about. Like, my character in this movie gets so frustrated because no one's taking her seriously and saying, oh, maybe she's a runaway or she'll be back in a few days. And there's a disparity between yes. the amount of attention white missing girls get and girls of color get. Absolutely. And that was really important in, in telling the story that we wove in another story of a white girl who was getting all the attention. And so you could see the difference. I mean, it was palpable. You were telling me that it was filming in December. Let's take a look at a clip and then we'll discuss. Okay. My daughter has been missing for 16 days. And ever since, I've been living every parent's nightmare. We didn't feel heard. We didn't feel seen until now and i want to thank every single one of you here and i just want to say that i miss my baby mm. that is a powerful scene and i know it goes on to say you wanted to thank the uh, black and missing foundation yes. you worked with them to flesh out a lot of these issues we did i mean they were very instrumental in in helping us put this movie together because this is what they do I mean, the foundation really gives resources and help to families who are looking for their families and not getting any help from media, from the police. And uh, that's why the story is important. And so what can the media do to, to get it right, to do better? Show them, show the faces, let's talk about it, let's, let's get it out there. I think that's the most important thing we can do is, you know, we know that John Benet Ramsey's, Natalie Holloway, Gabby Petito, but what about the black faces? What about the brown faces? Why don't we know them? And you um, do such a powerful job. I feel like you're in your element on screen, but you're also executive producing behind the scenes. Yeah, okay. Why is having women at the helm and women of color especially so important? Because I feel like we have to, inclusion, it matters. It's so important. It was important that we had a black female writer and we got Kale Futterman and we have a black director, Delmar Washington, and, and the crew. It was really important because we're telling our story. And it's not to exclude anyone, but it's to include us. Why choose this story? For me, it's about doing something that will serve my community. I mean, I have this crazy, amazing platform. And I say my platforms for three things. Showing that I still look cute at my age. Uh-huh. Shading a housewife and bringing things, you know, to light that, I, that they're, are important to me. And this is one of them. This is um, now going into your fourth season <laughs> on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Time flies when you're having fun. I can't imagine. You said that last season was intense. Oh and dark. Tell me a little bit about what you were thinking and Lisa Renna is no longer on the show. Has the dynamic changed? Um, we've only been shooting for about a week and a half. I don't know if the dynamic has changed so much as that I think we want to have more fun. I think we want to get back to the friendships and figuring them out. But I mean, there'll always be drama. You have six independent, strong, modern women. There's going to be drama. But it's also, I think, important. The world has changed. Women are supporting each other. So I think we need to see a little bit of that and not just a takedown. Um, one of your fellow housewives, Erica Girardi, also known as Erica Jane, yeah. has been writing about the snow in Pasadena and saying that, see, I'm not lying after all. <laughs> she wasn't. Um, it's sort of a vindication in a way. Do you think her legal troubles are still being talked about within the group? And, and, and is it relevant? It's definitely relevant to her. I think... We don't want to focus on it, but I think it's hard not to talk about it. But she was definitely right. It snows in Pasadena. I guess it does. <laughs> uh, we were talking about the fact that maybe there will be an expansion of the cast. There have been all these crazy rumors about Chrissy Everybody. Teigen, yes. Meghan Markle. <laughs> <laughs> 
Will Harry come too? Oh, that would be amazing. <laughs> who, who would you want to join? And would you want Megan sitting by your side? I mean, why not Megan? <laughs> I think Chrissy Teigen would be a lot of fun. I think Jennifer Coolidge would be insanely good. We're not a part of casting. See what Bravo comes up with. We talked about this when I was at your house. Your son Jax and how he was subjected to bullying and mm -hmm. online, you know, hate. How do you deal with that as a mother? How do you deal with that as a public figure? It's really tough. Mm -hmm. It's really tough to balance the two because as a teenager, teenager, he wants to do what all the teenagers are doing on his phone. But as a mom, I want to protect him and go, you don't need to be on this app. You don't need to have this. So it's finding the balance of giving him some freedom, but then also trying to protect him and talk about it at home. I can only control how we deal with it and how we talk about it. I can't control what somebody else does. You are an author. You are an actress, a former model. You're this. What is the next iteration? Oh, that's a very good question. Who um, is I'm still... the next <laughs> chapter of Garcelle Beauvais? Um, I think the next chapter is probably producing more, spending time with my kids before they go off to you know college. As you know, I'm like dreading that. Um, we but I we think keep more... talking about wanting to stop time when it comes to our sons. Yeah, it would be great to stop time and get a little more time with them where they want to actually spend time with me. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm open. I, and I love being open to seeing what's next. I have my home line with HSN Garcelle at home that comes out in May, so I'm open. So glad to see you. Thank you for Thank joining Thank you. Us. I love seeing you. <laughs> <laughs> and Black Girl Missing premieres Saturday at 8 on Lifetime. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.